coming to question 7, which of the following is are not a good way or ways to differentiate between migraine and epilepsy? There are 5 statements here. Statement 1 says presence of headache. Presence of headache is not a good way to differentiate between epilepsy and migraine because many patients with epilepsy can also have intractable headache. And statement 2 mentions that uh, presence of flickering lights and flashing colors, usually red or white, will be able to differentiate between migraine epilepsy and that's correct. Uh, statement 2 is more in favor of diagnosis of migraine than epilepsy. So statement 2 can differentiate between migraine and epilepsy. What about statement 3? Presence of normal EEG while the episode is occurring can be uh, helpful to differentiate between migraine and epilepsy is also a correct statement because if you have a normal EEG while the episode is occurring which you are thinking it as a seizure, it's very unlikely to be a seizure because during the ictal phase, at the time where the seizure is happening, the EEG must be abnormal, showing epilepsy form spikes. The inter-ictal EEG, which you commonly do, may be normal, even a patient with epilepsy. But the ictal EEG generally will be abnormal. If the ictal EEG is normal, at the time of that particular episode, which you are thinking it as a seizure, it's very likely to be some other diagnosis, like migraine apart from epilepsy. So this can differentiate between migraine and epilepsy. And what about statement 4, presence of zigzag pattern of light? Yes, this also can differentiate between migraine and epilepsy because uh, this kind of zigzag pattern of light is going to go more in favor of migraine rather than epilepsy. And what about statement 5, presence of typical aura preceding episode is something that cannot differentiate between migraine and epilepsy because aura is something that can uh, present even before an epilepsy. And uh, patients with migraine may not have aura at all. In fact, migraine without aura is what we call as common migraine because 70 to 80 percent of the times migraine happens without aura only. And only 20 to 30 percent of the times migraine happens with aura, which is what we call as classic migraine. So, statement 5 is wrong. It cannot differentiate between migraine and epilepsy. So, right answer for this question will be option D, 1 and 5. So, statements 1 and 5 are not good ways to differentiate between migraine and epilepsy. The right answer is option D. Subscribe and press the bell icon so you never miss an update from PrepLadder.